what's going on, vloggers, bloggers, and everyday toilet brewers. So I am a lying piece of crap, um, mostly because on one of the last episodes when I was back sweetening the uh, strawberry meat, I had a bottle bomb happen. I've uh, never had one of those happen before. It didn't explode, but where the you see the wine rack right here, I literally came out to use the restroom at 3 o'clock in the morning, and the whole entire floor was just covered in a sticky mess because when I tried to make it all natural and everything like that, these guys ended up carbonating, unintentionally carbonating. <laughs> um, and you can kind of see it. See how there's a new yeast cake on the bottom? And that shouldn't have been there. What I should have done is what I should have done. I should have racked it off the, the strawberry meat, put it into a new jar, and then what do you call it? Um, let it sit for a couple of months, and then racked it off again, and then back sweetened it, and you know just to make sure there's no yeast in there, everything's settled and everything. But I wanted it to be all natural. I did end up, however, look, it's still got it got gunk on it and stuff. And this is this is a bottle I just took out of the fridge because once I realized that these guys were carbonating, I cold crashed them. Now, cold crashing is a thing you can do where you basically, if you don't want your yeast to produce any more sugar, you shove them in the fridge and you cold crash them. They just literally, they don't die. I mean, they can. It really depends on, like, what tolerance the yeast has for what kind of temperature. And all yeast is different. I'm not really sure of the temperature range on the K1V1116 is the one that we used on this guy. But yeah, I put these guys in the fridge so they wouldn't explode anymore. But I'm pretty sure even if I pop this guy now, it's going to be sparkling. Unintentionally. But cool. I've never made anything sparkling before. Uh, that's one of the big reasons why I haven't done beer yet. But it, it's pretty easy. Um, if you're going for a sparkling thing, make sure if you are using a wine bottle like this. Because these just like literally just went, poo! Like one landed from up there, landed on my, like all the way on the carpet on the couch over there. It was... I, I do have a camera, but I, I didn't go back and look. But where I found the, the corks was like 25 feet away. So, yeah, they literally shot off like shotguns. I'm surprised they didn't wake me up. But I had the door shut because my cats uh, are horrible when it comes to me trying to sleep. Especially Vulgarious because they'll just meow, 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 meow. Hey, Vulgarious, stop chewing on my laces. Yeah, I'm talking to you. That doesn't even come over here. But yeah, so that being said, there are a couple things you can do if you do want to go the chemical route when it comes down to back sweetening and um, what do you call it? Um, getting rid of your yeast and stuff like that. You can do a continuous rack, let it sit for a month, rack it over to another guy, let it sit for a month, rack it over to another guy. You know, hey, what are you doing? No, no, no. I'm doing a video. Give me a second. <laughs> you know, rack it off to another guy. Or you can use other things like these. These are Campton Den tablets. Um, they're a sterilant and a preserver. And the uh, active ingredients is sodium metabisulfate. Now, you don't have to use the tablets. These are just kind of easier way to go. But you can get these at your local brew shop or online. Got that fryer tux I get with all my other crap. I mean, what do you call it? Um, you can actually just get the powdered form and just dump them in. But a lot of recipes, if you look them up online, it'll, it will say, like, crush two or three of these guys, and boom. They do sell huge bags of them, too. Um, and you don't just want to use this. Um, you also want to use stuff like potassium sorbate. And I've actually got two separate bottles over here from two different brands. Uh, this one... I ordered online and this one, I, I got this one from, from Briar Tuck as well too. But it's, it's actually a combination of both of these. So what these do is that they don't kill the yeast or anything like that. They actually just render the yeast inert. And so it just tells them to stop. It's like, hey dude, we get you're having a fun time eating all the sugar and farting gas and pissing alcohol, but you gotta stop dude. Like really, you're being a dick. But uh, yeah, you put some of these and this into your uh, to your wine, you know, or your wash or whatever you're doing at the time and stuff like that. Let it sit for like, you know, a week or two and all your yeast will literally go to the bottom. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I've used these a lot. Another thing, it's not, there's nothing bad about these. I know I said in my last video that sometimes if you add too much, it can leave a salty taste. And that is true, but I mean, just don't add a whole bunch. If it calls for three, put one and a half. You know, um, a lot of these have like little things that will say like, you know, add like yada yada for whatever. I mean, if you're going off a recipe, just do what the recipe says. Uh, but yeah, I've never had a bottle bomb before and it was, it was pretty bad. It was, there was mead, strawberry mead all over the floor. It was a sticky mess and I didn't even have time to clean it because it was like three o'clock in the morning. I went back to bed and then right when I woke up, I had 15 minutes to get ready for work and then I was out the door and it was snowing and, but yeah, I basically picked up some wipes from work and then just started going to town. I had to literally wipe everything down everything back there the fridge the whole entire floor was just a pile going from all the way to the dishwasher to the bathroom yeah it was pretty bad so yeah be be wary of, of bottle bombs when it comes down to it what come here oh here it is come here come here how you do? Oh no, I don't want your butthole in my face. <laughs>